Hey, golf duff, but I'm not a quitter. Giving you some insight if you are beginner and a. In this video, I'm gonna review the Bridgestone E6 golf ball. These are soft two piece golf balls from Bridgestone. Stay tuned. How to get it popping, how to get a triple bogey. No, I'm not the best. That's a and This is the updated 2021 version of the Bridgestone E6 golf ball. The E6 golf ball have been around for about 15 years. So many, many people have played the E6. They have played different versions, of course. This is the updated version and it only comes in one version. The 2019 version came in soft and speed. If you had slower swing speed, you had to choose the soft golf ball. If you were of a faster swing speed, you chose the speed version of the E6. So two versions for uh, different kinds of players. What they did this time is in the new E6 version, they made one golf ball. It's a two piece construction, but still the core is like three pieces because the core is softer in the middle and it gets harder as it comes uh, out towards the sterling cover of the golf ball. Now we're going to take the E6 golf ball out on the course. I'm going to play two rounds of golf with these golf balls for this review and then I'm going to tell you if I like it or not. So stay tuned. It's going to be wet. It's going to be fun. Let's go. Wide open fairway. Impossible to miss the fairway here. That's even, true. E even with a brand new ball. <laughs> so no pressure. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I sliced it. Well, you didn't miss the fairway, I think. <sighs> well, I did. I'm gonna tell you a little story about the E6 golf ball. Um, one time I found a yellow Bridgestone E6 golf ball and I started playing that on a 18 hole round at my local course. And only one time in my golfing career have I played the whole round with one golf ball without losing any golf balls, a whole round. That's happened once and it happened with that yellow E6 golf ball. So that's why I bought these golf balls when I found them on sale at my uh, golf shop. Uh, I wanted to give them a try uh, again because I liked the feeling that the yellow golf ball gave me uh, when I played it. So I bought these and I gotta say I really enjoy them. They are soft enough they don't feel like a super soft, which I can feel uh, sometimes it's a little bit too soft. I don't know the compression rate on the super soft from Callaway, but these feel a little bit harder to me. Uh, it says that they are constructed to fly further, uh, give you long distance. I haven't noticed that too much. Uh, unfortunately and uh, it doesn't fly straight if you hook it or slice it you are going to lose the golf balls they might fly uh, straighter than many other balls for all I know but uh, with my slice I can uh, lose these just as easily as uh, any or other ball uh, expensive or uh, cheap it doesn't matter with my slice so the thing is, I feel like I have found my golf ball. I am going to play the E6 golf ball this season uh, just because I love the feel of it. I love the feeling it gives me with my irons, my driver. It's uh, the right softness. It's the right feel. And I love the way it spins around the green. Uh, with my wedges and I love the way it uh, reacts with my putter uh, the sound it makes and I know uh, I can trust the distance I'm getting with my putter uh, with this golf ball because I I love the the clicky sound thing it's uh, I think it's a more a feeling thing than anything else uh, but I really enjoy it and um, 
Actually, I have nothing negative to say about this ball. And to be honest, I uh, one of the golf balls that I played almost a full round, I think I lost the ball at uh, hole 15 or something. I played almost a whole round and it was a bit scuffed because I hit some rocks and stuff and it bounced off the rock and uh, onto the fairway. Luckily, it had some marks on it but the cover is really durable so if you're looking for a cover that can uh, withstand a lot of beating it's a Serlin cover so it's one of the cheaper kinds it's not like an Ionimer cover that you find on the professional uh, premium balls but uh, it's durable for me a high handicap golfer have you played the Bridgestone E6 golf ball yourself did you like it or did you hate it write a comment down below I want to know how it felt for you Hit that like button, that helps my channel grow and please subscribe if you like high handicap golf videos just like this one. See you guys next time, thank you, bye.